lawsuit has been filed against the credit reporting company Equifax, claiming the company was negligent. The company announced a massive hack may have compromised the information of more than 143 million Americans. This has been the concern with the string of recent hacks lately, and we want to hear from you. Have you ever had your identity stolen, yes or no? You can vote right now from our push alert on your phone or go to WXYZ.com slash vote, and we'll have the real-time results for you in a moment. But first of all, here's Joanne Purton with now today's Don't Waste Your Money Consumer Report. Yeah, you know, the FBI, this is just a huge deal. They've opened a formal investigation now into the hack, along with several states. But it is so important for you to act fast to protect yourself. We're going to be answering some of your Facebook questions in just a minute. But first, what you need to know about this massive hack. Consumers, beware and check your credit report. The secret is... You need to know as quickly as possible you have a problem. Security experts urging Americans to take the latest data breach seriously, knowing 143 million consumers could be at risk. The hack believed to have taken place between mid-May and July, but not discovered by Equifax until July 29th. Well, it's significant because of the sheer size of it and the fact that it occurred at a credit reporting agency. Equifax is one of three major companies that tracks everything, including your payments on credit cards, mortgages, student and car loans, and utilities to establish your credit score. The company is now confirming hackers had access to names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, driver's license numbers, and even credit card numbers for more than 200,000 Americans. Now, the problem is that the social security number is the skeleton key to our identities. And even if you're not a customer of Equifax, experts warn your information may not be safe because Equifax gets its information from banks, credit card companies, and lenders, not consumers. ABC News has also learned three Equifax executives sold stock after the breach was discovered, but before the company alerted the public. The company maintains the executives did not know about the hack at the time. I deeply regret this incident, and I apologize to every affected consumer and all of our partners. All right, so again, we want to get to some of your questions about this breach. I did a Facebook Live about this last night, just about 24 hours ago, right now, right on my phone. I had dozens and dozens of questions. So let's start with one of them here. Jennifer asked, how will we know if we were one of the ones affected by this breach? All right, Equifax has set up a website for you to check. It's EquifaxSecurity2017.com. You enter some information, and you can find out if your information has likely been compromised. Steve then asks, will they offer free services? Service, like a free uh, like monitoring service like LifeLock. Now, Steve, it's not LifeLock that they're offering, but they are offering free identity theft protection and credit file monitoring services. But that does come with the condition that you can't sue or enter or benefit from a class action lawsuit and there's already been one filed. Now, people read that, they got really concerned, like, wait a minute, I can't sue the company if I use that service? Late this afternoon, I got an email back from Equifax to kind of clarify things a bit to say that those terms apply to the credit monitoring and to the identity theft products and not suing about the cybersecurity incident. So you'll likely see more about that, but a lot of outrage about that. Takes us to our next question now. How do I check my credit report? Because maybe you don't want to go through the site itself and you just want to see if there's been any suspicious activity, if your identity has been ripped off. Okay, here's what you do. You go to annualcreditreport.com. That is the official site where you are entitled by law to a free credit report every year from each of the three credit reporting bureaus. Experts recommend you space them out, one, say, every four months, because that way you'll get a free frequent snapshot of what's going on, not just once a year, because then if they use your information a month from now, it's going to be 11 months before you see what kind of damage they've done. So again, annualcreditreport.com, follow the prompts. Last question for you. Tiffany asks, if they were aware of this back in July, why are we just hearing about that now? That is a great question. The company has not said why it waited so long to disclose this information. And in an analysis done by the Washington Post, the founder of an online safety advocacy firm, SSP Blue, said this delay could be potentially have disastrous consequences because hackers could have already sold your information on the dark net. Someone already could be using it and you don't even know it. So you guys go check out your credit reports. Do that every four months. Be proactive. We're he's seeing these hacks so often. You've got to take precautions so you don't waste your money. Back to you guys. All right, Joanne, thank you so very much. We'd like to check right now with the poll results. We asked moments ago if you've ever had your identity stolen. When we take a look at these numbers right here, Joanne, you can see that it's a fairly common occurrence, 60 percent. So Basically, uh, the two-thirds th two of people say they have indeed had their identity stolen. Forty percent say no. 
But right now, the way things are, that's no yet. Thank you for taking the time to participate in our poll.